semua. Uh, izin pakai bahasa Inggris ya, sorry. Um, my name is Tana. Uh, lucu ya bahasa Indonesia-nya because of my job. Um, saya sebenarnya head of, eh kok pakai bahasa Indonesia ya? I am head of sustainability at GoTo Group. Um, and I'm very, very excited to be here with all of you today to share a little bit about what we're doing for sustainability. So first, the good news. We've actually come quite a long way. The impact we've already made collectively is quite positive. We have more policies in place today than ever before as it relates to environmental and social challenges. And in terms of how well we're doing, it's incredible considering the lack of resources and the population growth that we face. So we're becoming smarter at how we even use technology to be able to address so many of these issues. And in terms of climate specifically, we have more climate-focused solutions than ever before. We're using more renewable energy, clean energy. So the news seems pretty, pretty good. Now, because I'm here as part of GoTo, in terms of the positive impact and progress that we've made, we contribute around 2.2% of Indonesia's GDP. That is collectively as an ecosystem. We already divert most of our waste from our offices, from our work sites, from landfill, so ending up as environmental pollution. We're all, we've already transitioned our offices and work sites also to renewable, renewable energy source power. And in terms of our consumers, we now have proof, real data, that they're not just aware of the environmental challenges and issues, but they're actually willing to pay up to 10% more for environmentally friendly products and services. This is amazing in terms of the shift from awareness and education to actual consumer behavior. But sadly, that's not far enough. We still have so far to go. The speed and the scale at which we need to really change the trajectory that we're on is still not there. And this is where I come to my day-to-day -day job, what pays my bills every single day. So as head of sustainability at GoTo, my job is to integrate the concept of collective action into our business. Collaboration is pivotal for what we need to achieve from an environmental and a social standpoint. No longer can companies just count their profits and their performance, measure their performance by financial metrics. We need to be able to do this in an environmental and a social standpoint as well. So here, in this case, driven by personal motivations, being, you know, in my personal history, I lived in almost six different countries, but Indonesia was always my home. I'm Batawi by, by ethnicity and also Canadian. Um, and for me, as I mentioned, Indonesia was always my home. So I saw the power of Gotong Royong in person, in the communities, and we're all part of some type of ecosystem, whether it's our families, our schools, our workplaces, our countries, we all belong somewhere. And so this concept of collective action and doing things for the greater good is incredibly important. And I found a way, very, very fortunately, to do that as a day-to-day -day job. For us, it means solving for our ecosystem, getting the company to shift from thinking from the individual to the collective, and how we can harness the power of all the stakeholders in our ecosystem, millions of them. Some of you, I hope, are all go-to users in some way, whether it's Gojek or Tokopedia or GoPay or what have you. The millions of consumers that we have across this country to be able to work for the greater good. Now, if it wasn't for that, think about the people in our ecosystem. So you might be the consumers or the users of our platform, but the drivers for which their whole source of livelihoods or income depend on our platform. For the millions of merchants and sellers who are using our, biz our platform every day to grow their businesses, and to all of the, con the, the users that also use our platform that make the, you know, their lives, their daily lives more convenient, more connected, and easier. 
So this is where our three zeros comes in. The shift from just shareholder value to stakeholder value. We now me have to measure, every company should be measuring the value that they are generating, not just in finances, but also in environmental and social value that's relevant for each of their stakeholders. So we came up with three zeros, zero barriers, zero emissions, and zero waste. These are all targets we've set for ourselves for 2030. And that may sound like a lot of other companies that have these kinds of targets or commitments, but ours is backed by real impact. And this is what I also want to share with you. There is a price to pay for every single one of those commitments that we've set, and we are currently paying that price. It is incredibly complex to change the way a, a company has fundamentally been designed for. Every company today is designed to maximize shareholder value. So how do you shift it from thinking about just your investors to all the millions of stakeholders that you might have in your ecosystem? So I'm going to go into it and spend a little bit of time on this. For zero barriers, for us, what does this actually mean? It's about ensuring everybody in our ecosystem and in our organization doesn't just feel valued and safe and supported, they really are. So this is all our work in terms of diversity, equity, and inclusion, making sure that we're reducing and eliminating barriers to access to the digital platforms that we provide, to also making sure that we have non-predatory financial products and services that contribute to the long-term well-being of our drivers, of our merchants, and our users as well. Why is this a challenge? Because humans are involved, and we're talking about the well-being of every single one of the individuals in our ecosystem. Humans are incredibly complex. The well-being of yourself is going to be very different than the well-being of the person next to you. Our job is to figure out what kinds of solutions can actually help you the majority, the greater good, and make sure that everything in our business model provides that kind of good. The next, zero emissions. We're talking about decarbonization here. This is black and white stuff we're talking about. Companies today have to have some kind of decarbonization goal. Why? Because in terms of operations and impact, this is the one that's probably the most visible. And this is also incredibly costly, incredibly complex. Almost 85% of our emissions inventory is not from our direct operations. It's from all of the goods and services and people moving around our platform every single day. And so how do we make this shift? We're dependent on so many things, including the fact that a lot of the power powering this nation is still not renewable energy sourced. We have to shift almost three million drivers over to electric vehicles, vehicles we don't even own, and make sure that any charging or swapping infrastructure is already there for them to be able to use and make that shift easily. We're also talking about things like energy efficiency, um, making sure that we're calculating the right kinds of emissions and we're reporting on it every year. It's a hugely costly endeavor, but something that we really prioritize. And then last but not least, we have zero waste. So this is about eliminating, well, reducing and eventually eliminating the amount of waste that goes to landfill. On the e-commerce side, we distribute around a million packages a day in Indonesia. You can imagine the kind of waste that's generated. But wait, waste is not waste until somebody actually throws it away. So how are we supposed to measure what each of you are throwing away in your own homes unless we have a way to access it we have to actually think about this in very assumptive and extrapolative terms. And so for us, we actually try and solve the issue from the upstream side. How do we reduce and eventually turn off the tap on the new material that's entering our ecosystem in the first place? Then on the downstream side, how do we make sure that the waste management infrastructure is mature and developed enough to meet the needs of all the, the millions of consumers receiving these types of packages every single day? Waste has a value, it can be repurposed, and that's what we're currently doing right now, is making sure that we work with the right partners to be able to then resell some of that waste as brand new products, from things like industrial cleaners to biofuels. 
These are still not easy issues, as I mentioned before. Just to give you a sense of the scope we have, as 3 million drivers, 18 million merchants, almost 60 million consumers, there is no one-size-fits-all solution. But that's the work that's cut out, that we're cut out for, and that's what we're committed to solving with collective action. And that's, come, that's why it's so important. You may think that your individual actions count, but in terms of the go-to platform and ecosystem, we are heavily dependent on all of you to be able to take up some of the solutions that we have to be able to get to our three zero goals. Without it, we'll never achieve it. And this is where we have one ecosystem with as many diverse stakeholders as we do and one purpose, which is working towards the greater good. Because all these environmental and social issues I've just talked about are something that touches each and every single one of us every single day. And so it's incredibly important for all of us to make sure that whatever contributions we're making on a daily basis actually are able to move the needle together as one ecosystem. Thank you.